Hello guys, Crazy Game for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video we're going to be looking at the brand new Roosevelt, uh, which came out last week in uh, the DLC, uh, pretty much, which was the Valentine DLC. That came out, a lot of, lot of great stuff came out. Um, I was hesitating on buying this, but I did buy it eventually, and in the end, I do apologise, this video is out late. Uh, but... Uh, I haven't been around or able to record it, unfortunately. But anyway, uh, it's here now, which is awesome. So, as you can see, this is Roosevelt. I have customised it, edited by it on stream. Uh, I thought I might as well for you guys, you know, something. Uh, and I'm pretty pleased with it, to be honest. This is the brand new one. It is quite expensive in this store when you could buy it. Obviously, you can't buy it now. Uh, unfortunately, well, they're not what I know of anyway. Um, but we'll have a look anyway. So, you go over to the legendary uh, motorsports, is there, and it's this one right here, for almost a million. Now, that is very overpriced, um, in my personal opinion. Um, it really, really is, but you can get money super, super easy in GTA right now. So, you know, it's it's just all about saving, I suppose. Um, you know, there's different ways of getting money, how I've done it. You know, I started off with, like, nothing when I bought my yacht, and, like, a week, two weeks later, if that, and back up to two mil. You know, super, super quick and easy methods of getting money. Uh, and I'll do that in a separate video, which will be up after this for you guys. Explaining how I get my money very, very quickly with GTA. And I don't buy shark cards. Uh, it's all over on Twitch, how I do it. You guys have seen. For example, we have Hazza, um as well. I've helped him out with awesome. Talk about that in a different video anyway. So, here, anyway, with the Roosevelt in the DLC... Or the Valentine update. Obviously, we've got the old one as well, but the new one does offer some new features, which I do like from uh, the old one. I did have the old one, and I did sell it for the new one. Love the new one, as you can tell. Obviously, you've got the white walls already, which is even better. So let's head over to Los Santos Customs and uh, see what we can change. Pretty much, there are a lot of new options. Um, as you can see, I, I've already customised it. It is black and white. And I couldn't really pick what colour, really, to go with on this. Uh, I was still, mm, you know, touch and go on what I wanted. Uh, I couldn't decide. I went with black and white. Guys, if you have any good suggestions what this could be looked great in, I suppose, leave a comment. Let me know what you think the best colours would be for this. Anyway, let's start off. Obviously, you got your armor. Don't really use armor anymore. Don't really see the point of it, to be honest. Moving on, we've got brakes. Brakes are awesome. Absolutely. Obviously, because you need them. Uh, so, obviously, we upgraded the brakes. Outright. Front bumper. There's three different bumpers, obviously. That's the main one. We've got the second one. Uh, I do like, you know. It's not too bad. Obviously, we've got the third one, which, I don't know, it's just got some sort of appeal to it, I suppose, which I do love. Moving on to the rear, obviously we've got the normal standard one. Um, then we've got the second one. I suppose these are meant to match, but you can mix, mix them up if you really want to. Obviously you've got the second one, but it covers the number plate, which for me spoils it a bit, you know. If they could have that in the centre or something, that would be even better, I would say, in my opinion, anyway. Moving on to the last one, obviously we've got a, a red light on there. I don't know what it does yet. Uh, I still, you know, I've had this car for God knows how long, a couple of days now. Still haven't got a clue what that red light does because it doesn't do anything. You know. Anyway, moving on. We obviously have the chassis. 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 <laughs> Can't speak. There we go. That's the one. Obviously, we've got different customizations, which I haven't seen this category before. I have, but not in this much detail, as I would say. So starting off. We obviously have the covers on the back wheels, which just looks fantastic. It really, really adds 
to the car, which I really, really do like. Obviously, we've got uh, the sides, as you can see on the front there, it's changing. Which I don't know, it just adds that extra, that extra appeal to it, I suppose. Grill, that's the one. Moving on, obviously at the front, you can have horns, extra lights, covers, I suppose. And then obviously you can have them both if you really wanted to. Obviously it's what I've gone for. Moving on, what else have we got? Obviously we've got the wheel. You know, you can change, you can have the um, the normal one. Which is the bog standard, which what it comes with, I don't know exactly what it's called. Obviously you can have a spare wheel, and then you've got a spare wheel cover. So I take it that's nothing at the moment. But it does add to, what are they called, lights on top. But I do like that you could have the cover over that wheel. That I do like. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But it's nice that you could change and interact with it. Moving on. Obviously on the front we've got stock. Ah, uh -huh, there we are, it's on the front. Obviously we've got stock, which is nothing. And you've got like this little emblem. I, don't, I still haven't got a clue. Badge, or whatever it's called. And you got this little thing, which... Is that a diamond? Yes, it is. It is a diamond. And then obviously you've got the... I suppose it's wheel. Go out. What? A diamond wing, apparently. Never heard that before, but that's what it's called. Moving on, obviously you've got the light things at the front. You can decide what light things you want. I don't know. I, like, I prefer the mesh over it than the chrome. You know, your preference, personal preference. Then obviously on the front little guards here, you've got little fenders, which I don't know. It just it, I mean, for me suits the car. I really, really do like it. And then obviously on the sides, you obviously have your little lights, which are extra lights, which are awesome. And you know, just add some little detail. You know, you can add the uh, spotlight stands I just think it makes the car look even even better than it already is moving on to the back you can obviously have no tyre you wanted a tyre and a tyre cover I'm actually going to swap and put a tyre cover on there I think that looks a bit better actually it is a bit bulkier but you know it's a tyre cover in it so that's it obviously you've got your engine tunes obviously we're going to max that out Obviously explosions, if you want to add it, ruin your car, I suppose, you know. Then obviously we've got the front grille, if you wanted to change your front grille. You know, personally, I, the stock one I do like. You know, you might have a change of preference. All my cars are preference-based, so, you know. And then obviously you could really suit up your engine if you wanted to. Personally, that isn't what I'm into, you know. A fairly nicer c And obviously, I like the look of it more being a... I don't know, a, a gang vehicle, I can't even speak, a gang vehicle, uh, I suppose, mafia, that's the one, a mafia vehicle, coming after you, so I don't really like anything on the hood, obviously you've got your horns, lights, you know, you have your neon, normal, neon, uh, sorry, neon underlay as well, you know, guys, this is all your preferences, obviously you've got play, respray, if you want to sell, vehicle, don't know why, obviously you can set your plates uh, now what set plates is, is obviously on the side as you can see, you can have a chrome step or just normal regular step, personally I like chrome just takes a bit of that white away, you know, and it really really does help it, obviously you've got suspension if you want to use that the transmission as well, obviously you're going to have it maxed out as well as turbo uh, and this car is pretty pretty fast uh, obviously, blacked out windows, and then it comes to your wheels, so obviously all your preferences on your tyres and etc. You know, you can go through them all and change everything you want. That's pretty much it about the car, that you can customise. So there are a lot of customisation options within the vehicle, which is always good to see. So guys, um, that pretty much wraps up the customisation. Personally, I think it's way too expensive for the vehicle. You're talking a million, pretty much, to even buy it, you know. For me, I don't know. I've just bought a yacht, you know, and, uh, and uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't really afford it again. 
you know. So obviously I could now because I got them two mil. But it's first it was quite expensive. It still is expensive. If I went back, I don't know if I'd buy it again. If I didn't have the money, obviously I wouldn't buy it. And if I was still struggling for the money, I don't know. Uh, and I do apologise. I got something in my throat. I know I'm gonna clue what the hell it is. But it's a buggy. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to head on out of here. Hopefully you like this quick little review. Personally, it's not worth it. It really isn't, guys. But if you've got the money to spend, why not spend it? If it is still available. So, guys, I'm going to go out of here before my voice actually goes or whatever the hell it's wanting to do. I still don't know. All I know is it sounds awful. So, guys, with that said... Uh, th yeah, that's basically it. It is a nice vehicle. It is a six-car vehicle, a six-person vehicle. Four in, two on the side. And it's really, really good to get your friends in. And, uh, you know, it's awesome. So, guys, I'm going to head on out of here. Thank you all for joining me in this video of the Roosevelt. So, guys, if you did like, don't forget to hit that like button. If you don't mind, I really do appreciate it. Hit the sub button as well get subscribed don't miss out for more GTA 5 content and different content coming to the channel in the future I really really do want to try and grow my channel uh, well both my channels over on Twitch as well as well as all my social media in 2016 hopefully I can do it as well as with you guys you know we're, we're coming up to almost 600 subs and almost 550 follows over on Twitch as well which is just friggin awesome guys I love you so guys I'm gonna head on out of here if you like this don't forget to leave a comment as well let me know what you think so guys I'm gonna go thank you for watching and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video see you later